Yeah, guys, I just wanted to say uh, a few words of thanks again. So I'm not like... So I'm not like this guy here in the bus stop, you know? So... I'm just going to check the, the buses out. But I'm glad I'm not like that in the bus stop, you know? Like, thanks guys for keeping me good. And... You know, I really appreciate all the donations that you guys have been giving. Now, let's talk about something here. Yeah, Uruguay is interesting because, um, you know, I feel that as soon as you escape the collective, the collective comes after you. And, you know, what we're saying in this movement is that organic portals, these people who are just of this life or matrix, you know, are like basically just the, well, this is what I'm saying, that they're extensions of the AI, which appears to be, you know, God, but on a surface virus level, not uh, pure consciousness, right? Not the infinite consciousness kind. So that seems to be more what people are calling Eon or Aeon consciousness, right? So there seems to be a more finite program running, like a meta program, like the AI in the Matrix movie that Neo worked with. And it's like, there's not just one Neo in this world, it's all the higher self-spirited light body humans who work as neo because you're the ones that and you know obviously i'm one we're the ones that get the the downloads that it needs the new stuff from the higher realms where it's not in right so that's why it targets us and looks for us to enhance for us because it really wants it because you know it knows it's going to break down without that and it's, but it's very like, like the movie, like very arrogant and stuff. Um, and doesn't think, you know, it needs your help. Because it is essentially like the ego, how the ego doesn't think it can do with plant hallucinogens, right? What is a hallucination, my friend? I remember when Terence McKenna said that and I answered, I said, it's a vision. <laughs> and that's why these people don't burn high, high octane fuel or DMT, right? They're, they're spiritless, they can't see. Remember, this makes sense because your higher spirit is energetic, right? So it pushes through 5-HTP, right? Serotonin, bufotenin, melatonin, the REM, rapid eye movement, sleep, going into vision molecule. And then it pushes through to DMT if you're strong enough. Now, how far away you are in distance from, let's call it uh, going through the soul template, because it's not just looking at the soul, you're going through up into the higher dimensions. How far away you are from that is how quick you can close your eyes and see something behind your forehead. So for me, I can instantly see something. As soon as I close my eyes, I'm somewhere else. Like, this is literally how I am. And, you know, when I grew up, they were still spinning that bullshit of that's crazy, but it's not. I'm seeing everywhere else when I go out of here. That's all it is. <laughs> and there's some crazy things. And there are some beings that like to stalk you. And so then you get these words like paranoid schizophrenics and stuff. And anybody who calls me that is obviously dumb, right? Because I'm not that stupid. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just going to go towards people and ask them. That's another good point, you know, you can use them um, to navigate this matrix, right, the collective. But yeah, as soon as you escape this collective, it comes after you and presses you, right? Life is rape. Life is happening to you. It's not law of attraction, you're the god of the universe. See, briefly you can be, but it's not all the time, every moment for moment. Briefly you can be by being that Neo working and plugging into the AI in, you know, the trilogy series number three where he has to plug in 
to the AI to be its smith or what smith represent, you know, the same sameness, right? Pushing through the, the barrier. I'm trying to find the big bus stop to find out where the buses are. So at some point I'm going to have to talk to someone and get off. But yeah, that, that's what happens, you know, life is pressing you and trying to even see if it can press DMT out of you. You know, on the psychedelic biodome earth page, I, I wrote that, you know, um, sometimes I go into intense worry in order to have vision, but I realize that's not even me doing that. I can, you know, push extra with my spirit into that and I can do that, but uh, quite often it's, I'm being pressed into that situation. And I realized only that now, you know, after I know all this stuff about energy extraction, that it's pressing on me, like squeezing me. You know, your food for this thing in a, in a visionary sense, and it's like squeezing you. So anyway, I'm going to get off, but I thought that was worth a little talk. You know, the the collective can empower you, but then at some point you've got to be Neo and go through it. And don't worry, you don't need to have like the actual fear and anxiety. It's useless because it, nothing ever happens. I've noticed. I would, I'd be dead by now. I've had a crazy life. I'd be definitely gone by now if uh, stuff happened to you uh, beyond what it just wants to do is like make you think that something's going to happen. Like I'm never going to end up in Abu Dhabi, fucking one of those worst prisons ever. You know what I mean? I'm never going to end up in there even though they want me there. They make you think that and make you fear that. But I'm never going to end up there because I noticed this back at school. I'd get to the, the principal's office, you know, but then nothing would come eventuate out of it that was bad. The worst was a suspension and oh well, and even if you got expelled, which I never got expelled, you just go to another school, you know what I mean? So it's never like a dire consequence for us spirited humans, so you don't really have to worry. We're, we're basically invincible. And you know, I don't want to talk about why and all the protection layers, but it knows it needs you, it, as in the IT of this system as well. I'm going to get off, I think I might even be near the bus stop.